Draco Malfoy, a.k.a. Tom Felton, was paid $14 million for the Harry Potter films, despite only being on screen for 31 minutes across eight movies. So if you stumble upon this, feel free to comment. What would you do if you were paid $14 million? But let's just say like half of that, you know, because after taxes and everything, let's just say that you were to actually pocket like $7 million. If you stumble upon this episode... What would you do with $7 million? That is such a disgustingly high amount of money. You could literally be set for life depending on how you structure that money. But let's get into it. Tom Felton was paid a whopping 14 million euros. Oh, okay, so it wasn't even dollars, it was actually euros. And so probably, like, at the time that he got paid the 14 million euros, it was probably more so like 20 million. So really, we could say like after taxes, 10 million. That's so crazy. Despite only being on screen for a total of 31 minutes, the actor 35, oh wow, he's young, starred as Harry's school foe, Draco Malfoy in the fantasy series and appears in all eight films. However, A screen time breakdown by IMDb reveals Tom's total screen time across the franchise amounted to 31 minutes and 45 seconds. Now, here's the thing, too, right? If you got lucky enough to basically get, like, a massive windfall of this type of money by doing something at a very young age, you should really structure this money in a way where you just never have to work again right? Like, that's the way to really go about it, right? It's like, how can I go through a life without having to work to pay bills, where I could just basically do whatever I want, whenever I want, because I want to do it. So, unsurprisingly, the actor's screen time is considerably less than the series' three leads, Daniel Radcliffe, Harry, Emma Watson, Hermione Granger, and Rupert Grint, which is Ron Weasley. Daniel had 539 minutes of screen time, Emma had 205 minutes, and Rupert had 211 minutes. Now, that's interesting because, it's like, how much were they paid for their roles? So, Tom's was slightly less than Rap Phoenix, Phoenix, who played series antagonist Lord Voldemort, who had 37 minutes and 15 seconds. Robbie Coltrane, who played Rubius Hagrid, was on camera for 45 minutes and 45 seconds throughout the films. And according to The Mirror, Tom reportedly made $14 million across the eight films, the equivalent of being paid about $451,613 per minute of screen time. And in a previous interview with the Daily Mail, Tom admitted to being financially irresponsible for a while after the films were made. He said, I bought a lot of rubbish things that kids buy, skateboards and clothes and typical teenage stuff. And as soon as I could, I wasted a lot of money on cars, BMWs mostly, for myself and my family. Which, here's the thing, I can understand someone going down that path. Like, that's gotta be hard to not, like at that young age with so much money, it's gotta be hard to not spend money on stupid stuff. That being said, Hopefully, he still has, he had so much money left over that he could still do stuff with it in terms of like investing. My mom told me, you have worked hard for it, so get what you want, but beware, you will lose money on cars. And she was right. At one point, the actor said he got in trouble with the tax man and had the bailiff at the door, but got his finances under control with the help of an accountant. Now, that's pretty Awesome, then. The Harry Potter films were released between 2001 and 2011, and is the fourth highest-grossing film series of all time, having made $7.7 billion. Whew. 
crazy though. Let's see some of the best comments on this. Seems like he was in them a lot more than that. Yep, deserved more. Blah, blah, blah. Well, at least one person had gratitude for what J.K. Rowling gave them. Well, the Hagrid and Voldemort actors supported her too. Blah, 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 blah. So what? The rest of the traders were paid a lot more. This article is to put him down just because he's the only one from the cast decent enough to support Rowling. Interesting. Uh, and any interesting comments other than that? Not sure why that should be an issue. His character is one that everyone remembers despite not having the same amount of time on screen as some of the other characters. Now that's actually pretty true. A lot of people do always remember Draco because they did not like Draco. Let's see. He's more memorable than most of the cast. Absolutely amazing guy. Doesn't bow to the woke Reedy, whatever that is. Well, absolutely watch whatever he appears in next. The guy has integrity in balls. This story reads very much like an attack on Tom for being successful in a role. Has his support of JKR upset a DM reporter too? The thing is, I don't think this is necessarily a attack on him, but I think it basically shows that kind of like the issues of getting fame and money at a very young age, and that if you don't like take care of it early on, you could end up losing everything, right? See, like in the article. Right, it he basically explained how when he was young and when he started to make the money, he did start to do things that were stupid financially, even though he got a warning from his mom. Right, and the mom said, like, "Hey, you could do what you want to do with your money, but you're gonna lose some money if you keep doing basically what you're gonna do." And he even got in trouble with the tax man. That being said, it also goes to him basically going into the next arc of him basically being financially responsible, which is cool to see. Because the problem that a lot of people in his situation or similar situations are, where they get like a crazy windfall of money in a short amount of time, they act like the money is going to always come in. This is why you see professional athletes lose all their money. This is why you see rappers especially lose all of their money because they just assume that this sort of lifestyle, this sort of income that they're making is going to happen every month, every year for the rest of their life. And that's not the case, right? You might have a few good years. Maybe you'll have 10 years. Maybe you will have multiple decades of making amazing amounts of money. The thing is, you don't know. So what you need to do is secure your fi- your finances to where you can set it up to where you never have to work to pay your bills ever again, right? Because the reality, probably after the first movie, he probably could have been financially set for the rest of his life from that one movie alone. Not to mention how much he got paid, you know, the second and third movie and all that kind of stuff, right? So it's like, you just got to be really smart with your money. Because if you're smart with your money right from the beginning, then you could truly, like, live a life that no one else can live. Like, for example, he could have put the majority of his money that he made from Harry Potter into investments and only lived off of basically the income that his investments made and literally be living a millionaire's lifestyle without ever having to touch the principal, right? He could be passively making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and never 
touch his initial investment, and his money would continue to grow. Like that's how much money he's made, right? It's just oof. It's just so interesting to see this sort of thing. But I'm really happy that he was able to change the way that he dealt with his finances, because there's a lot of people who don't. If you want to learn how to get a debt, go to 40inbox.com.